don't focus only on the academics you can't take the project course if you're willing to take more than four courses it, it's offering for the other courses for free gre was way out of every semester we are supposed to take four courses minimum i couldn't get any scholarship i got my internship through the career of fair amazon was our biggest recruiter course is little bit rigorous try to apply for ras and ts before coming here the networking is a key that's all Hello everyone welcome to College Dunia Study Abroad my name is Anshika and today we have with us Sarvani who is pursuing her masters in engineering science from Sunny Buffalo hi sarvani welcome to the channel hi could you begin by introducing yourself to our viewers i'm sarvani i'm doing my masters in engineering science at uva which is focused on the data science stream i did my bachelor's in nit calicut in civil engineering and then i had four years of diverse work experience i worked on my own startup called fundicate for an year to gain industrial exposure i moved to time and that's when the data science data analytics is booming and i was doing some courses over online and i wanted to switch my career then i worked as a data analyst at fedfina and Parallelly, I pursued a postgraduate program in data science, which is collaborated with Simply Learn at Purdue University. Okay. I felt it was a very vast course and wanted to gain in-depth knowledge. That is why I moved to pursue my masters. Mm, that's great to hear about. So you switched from civil engineering to data science, <laughs> and then to transition, you took a lot of experience, and it's great to hear about your startup. Could you elaborate more upon it? Ah, uh, it's about. It's an educational management company. We used to conduct various events, workshops to students to promote stress-free education. Oh, that's nice. And also, you did some PGP in data science that you mentioned from Purdue, right? So Purdue and Simply Learn collaborated. It it's an online course. Okay, got it. So, how long was it, and did it form the correct base for you to pursue your masters? Yes, it, it's a nine-month program. I was doing a lot of online courses, but I couldn't get the complete knowledge. And I'm from the civil engineering background, so yeah. there is a career switch, and I have some skills that I'm back that I'm not familiar yeah, with. For so. sure, I mean, yeah. you wouldn't be an expert unless you learn that subject, right? <laughs> So it did give me the basis that I needed. That's great. So when you were looking at uh, your masters in engineering science, what colleges did you apply to? And you were in the spring intake, so a lot of people prefer fall intake over spring. So was it difficult to have a spring admit, or it was easy? Yeah, I mean, I was focusing on the data science courses. Uh, though the tagline is engineering science, it's more focused on the data science stream. Yeah. Uh, so in US, we should make sure that not we just not we are not supposed to go only with the taglines. The course says the curriculum would be entirely different. For sure. So I was looking for data science courses. I did apply for three colleges. Uh, one is uh, UB Masters in Engineering Science and Data Science. Another one is UTD. Uh, I applied for uh, Masters in Business and I take the Data Science cohort. Okay. And another one is. You can masters in business analytics and project management. Okay. I got admissions in all the three colleges, but That's I great. did for UB. <laughs> That's great that you got admitted to all three. It would be a tough decision to make a single choice. So, what's the biggest factor that made you choose Sunny Buffalo over the others? Uh, Sunny Buffalo has got good reputation and that good ranking compared to the others. I mean, all three of them are more or less in the same range. Hmm. Uh, but it is kind of pocket friendly compared to the other two got it i think that is one of the biggest factors students should consider coming from india because education in us can be pretty expensive yes so what was the application process was it the typical sop one sop and three lors along with some scores yes okay so what exams did you give uh, i wrote gre and ielts but as my admission was during covid gre was way out of during that time but i think it's again becoming mandatory yeah so what was the gre score uh, i did score 3 313 three, three, okay three. that's great so at that time it was like optional and you submitted it to sunny buffalo yes okay and the lors you took i mean you have a lot of work experience so and also from academic so did you take any from the academic background but i think it was you were a civil engineering student but still i mean your professors can back you up on a lot of points 
yes yes i mean i did take uh, three i mean two allows are needed and we can submit up to three i did up to, i did submit two allows from the professors and one from my advisor come my previous employer okay they did ask me to share the drafts so during that time when i was asking for the professors i told them to focus about how i was good at academics and extracurricular activities in the college yes and with my employer i did ask him to focus about how I, how the transition i i could work on in the transition and was mm-hmm. able to cope up with the changes and interested in data science yeah i think that's a good balance because you know your academics are a strong i mean you're here coming for studies so then you should have an academic lor irrespective of what stream you take it from yeah so and the sop was again the simple you have to point out why you want to choose a sunny buffalo it was one page or two page it's a one page question no okay. it's one page sop okay uh, so let's come towards the university Sunny Buffalo how is the course structured i mean you came here in spring 22 and you'll be graduating in may 23 which is pretty soon so how did you think the course is how is it divided into semesters so we have 30 credits course it's a, it's a kind of rigorous program i would say yeah uh, every semester we are supposed to take four courses minimum okay so it's like the first two semesters you have 12 credits each and in the third semester you will have six credits so it's 30 credits uh in case if you are coming for the fall you could complete this course even in an year if it is spring you are supposed to do for three semesters you don't have an option okay yeah so then you can do for fall spring and during the summer and complete the course yeah got it so during the first summer did you take up any courses or you're not allowed to even study some courses because uh i can i mean i'm if i want to i can take it during the summer but still uh, you have you can't take the project course in the summer so oh. you have to do it again in the third semester got it so that, that is why i didn't go for the course during the summer okay and you said it's rigorous i mean four courses a semester is definitely difficult but how did you cope with it is the faculty helpful and are the courses structured well i mean was it easy to do the assignments i mean if if you keep on going to the classes or watch the lectures regularly and do assignments on time it, it is manageable yeah and i used to work for 15 to 20 hours part time still i used to come to the course it i am telling you it's been hard like i go i go around morning 7 o'clock and then i come at night <laughs> <laughs> for sure because i can never i took three courses and along with that i did a part time for 20 hours so it was it was serious for sure <laughs> but our college do offer uh, i mean if you if you are willing to take more than four courses it, it's offering for the other courses for free <laughs> and there are a few people who do five courses as well oh my god <laughs> they don't, but they don't spend uh, but they don't go for part time or something yeah. if you want to complete uh, the course without taking any part time and you want to do you might be i would suggest for going for a five but not more than five <laughs> for sure so for the part time uh, where did you work and was it easy to get part times how is it in sunny buffalo uh, so we we do have ts rs uh, or grader but as our college is more of a research oriented they do have a preference for the phd students over the master students so it's a little bit difficult to get in the first sem but over time the kind of communication you have with the professor and how well you are performing in your courses could yeah. help you if not I, i if you are coming to the college direct in the first semester i would suggest you to reach out to the professors and mail them directly your resumes that may help you out uh, and you can apply for the uh, post like a librarian or academic yeah. performance specialist something like this yeah uh, or campus ambassador Okay. Uh, in college portals or the handshake mm-hmm. but the most common kind of jobs people would be getting is campus dining shops yeah that could apply through the college portal got it so is there any benefits of doing a rat or a grader position i mean obviously the workload is really less compared to a physical job such as dining uh, but does that pay your tuition fee as well or it's just an hourly rate that you pay uh, it it doesn't uh, i mean in few colleges they do waive off if you get an ra and ta but here it is not the case 
Okay, but I believe this could be really beneficial than going for a serious job so that you can have a valid experience to put on your resume and even sometimes the profession profess, professors recommendations can help you out. Yeah, for sure. So how much did it pay early? Um you work 20 hours so how much was the early pay for uh, RA so RA it was around 18 to 25 but i mean i worked for the college uh, as an RA not just for a professor so my my pay was little bit high but the, if you're working with a professor it could be around 18 okay and if it is serious job or something it would cost it, it would be around 13 dollars okay so i mean the cost is really different so it would be beneficial in to the pocket as well <laughs> yeah Yeah. So what's the tuition fee for your whole course that you paid? It's around 30k dollars. Okay. So it's 25 lakhs. Mm-hmm. And are there any scholarships being offered or any, you know, options when you get the admit or when you come here? Mm, I I couldn't get any scholarship. I think it depends upon the program and the person's resume, but yeah. Are there any people in engineering science who have scholarships who come from india uh that i am aware of no okay got it yeah i mean a lot of colleges do not offer scholarships to master student a lot of times i mean even in my university i've never seen a master student get a scholarship per se i did know someone from the architecture department or some other uh, department but not from the computer science or okay. anything got it <laughs> what are the monthly expenses for you at sunny buffalo say uh, rent and groceries it's little bit uh, li- little bit not so expensive compared to the other places uh, here i was getting i was staying off campus with my friends in an apartment yeah it's costing me around 400 dollars for a private room and mm-hmm. and the utilities may cost around 60 dollars yeah. but if we want if you want to break it down or make it down we can share the room and really yeah. possibly got it i mean that's the benefit of staying in college towns are you do not pay a lot of fee for i mean a lot of money for staying in a room i think private rooms are preferred because being a grad student you don't have the time to deal with things other than your studies <laughs> you don't want other problems in your life yeah yeah i mean you do get privacy to work on whatever you want yeah that's true so uh what's the i mean how is sunny buffalo in terms of career fairs and are there any events in the college that help you look for full times or internships so it's not like the case in india definitely yeah. but yeah we do have some career fairs but the ones which are relevant to us we need to deep dive in, in before going to the career fair and then go there mm-hmm. and talk about it yeah i mean i got my internship through the career fair what the college has arranged but it is a little bit hard to i mean I, only expecting from the career fair is not the case you yeah. we have to keep applying on our own for sure it's a good networking opportunity i believe but then it depends on us that how do you want to work around it so you said that you got the internship where will where are you interning currently uh, i'm i'm getting interned at softura as a software engineer intern though the my title is software engineer intern i'm working as a proper data science work over there okay that's great <laughs> it's been amazing so far is it fully remote because you are also doing a course currently yeah it's a fully remote course till my internship might be after it come it get converted into full time i have to move that's great good luck on that uh so what's the full time role i mean how when is the what's the correct timeline to apply for full time opportunities because looking at the market currently it's difficult to get a job in cs for sure and what's the average pay that a person who's doing his or her masters in engineering science from sunny buffalo should be expecting till last year it was a different case all my seniors got placed and amazon was our biggest recruiter beat engineering science or data science i mean beat engineering science focused on data science or business analytics or uh, computer science all of them used to go for that and the average pay used to be 130k but That's now uh, it's been a little bit hard yeah but i do hear people getting placed uh now i think it's a right time to focus on the startups or some small scale companies that are doing really well yeah 
for sure. Do, I do hear my friends getting placed once in a while. But... Yeah. <laughs> Got it. So what's the average pay currently they're getting? I mean, the market is really bad, but then there are still companies who are recruiting. So around 80K is okay. something you could expect. Got it. Uh, how's the city in general? How Sunny Buffalo community mix? How did you like the atmosphere there? It it's good. I mean, I'm someone who like the places that are very calm, cool. So not not I'm not a city person, so yeah. I do love it. But to those who are coming from India, I just tell them it it the weather is too harsh a little bit. I mean, I did come in the spring, so it's like it's everything is snow. There's like two feet of snow everywhere. <laughs> so it's kind of like we are on the border of the Canada and we do see Niagara Falls. That's so, that's a good plus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it sometimes we feel like we are on the verge of the Canada uh, or we do have team got a team hot and all these things. <laughs> so those who like like the places of Kashmir, Kulu Manali or that snow whites, yeah. they would love this place. Otherwise, maybe you just have to get adjusted to it. Got it. Yeah, it's it's really harsh there. Even temp- I've seen temperatures go as down as minus twenty five degrees Celsius, and that would be <laughs> really bad for the health as well. So you wouldn't yeah. be going out in the snow, right? There would be holidays in the college. Yes, if it's extreme weather, they do cancel. I mean, they keep the classes online. Oh, okay. Yeah, but yeah, recently we had a very severe snowstorm last December. It's like we all had some four, some around three feet of snow. Oh my god! <laughs> so is there is no problem of electricity going or anything else other than that, other than the snow? Uh, no, no. Okay. Uh, so what? How was your ex- your experience at Sunny Buffalo? Uh, some good and bad times that you had. I I I did like Sunny Buffalo because I like the faculty, what they teach. I did get some good mentors for me. and then the infrastructure is good and you can complete the cu- curriculum in a very short span like one to one and a half years it's very flexible and yeah i mean the college has good good, good reputation mm-hmm. so what's the I, percentage of uh, students i mean how many indians or from different uh, cultural and cultural backgrounds are the students from i mean what percentage is it divided So masters, if you are coming, it's more of you could see a lot of Indians. Yeah. My class has almost ninety uh, percent Indians, I would say ninety to ninety five percent. Okay. I mean, it it it's like if you are coming for any computer science focused masters, that's the case with most of the universities, I believe. Yeah, that's true. And other ten percent are what's the minority then? <laughs> <laughs> I mean. it's not my writing maybe some south asian countries or the americans i like it's quite common that people feel are the faculties coming and teaching uh, in abroad or we came here and studying in abroad <laughs> yeah that's the case i think for cs students and i think people should not expect a lot of diversity i mean in my class too there are a lot of indians <laughs> yeah So, are there any suggestions for young aspirants who are looking to come to Sunny Buffalo, and some things that you'd like to tell them before they come here? I'm telling that this course is a little bit rigorous, so you have to work a little bit hard. Yeah. But I mean, to me, it's a little bit hard because I have a career switch. But someone who is from computer science and moving on, I don't think they will find it hard that hard. Yeah. It, 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 it's doable if you keep on putting your efforts. You got it. Just don't focus only on the academics. Uh, build your extracurricular activities as well, and participate in club activities. All those things. So, did you get the time to do any of the other things? Because even I made a switch from electronics to computer science. In the first semester, I couldn't. I couldn't participate in anything because I was so deeply, you know, <laughs> committed to my studies at that time because I was making the switch. So. was it easy for you i mean you said did you join any clubs i didn't join in the clubs but i used to take part in the activities that they conduct i mean okay. we have a portal called ub link where we get to know 
what are the activities that are being done in the college like for for the whole time so we can just be register and then go on some uh, do you have any other suggestions like in terms of say what one should prepare for before coming to sunny buffalo get prepared for the weather that's what i <laughs> Sorry, I mean, if you are coming from the spring, but if it's fall, I think it the temperature grows gradually. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so as I said, if it's your first semester, try to apply for uh, RAs and TAs before coming here. So mm-hmm. it can help. And even if it's possible, apply for the campus dining job. So it's more of a first come first serve. Okay. A few people who applied a little bit late couldn't get the. job in the first semester okay so they have to manage their expenses with the loans yeah makes sense yeah. it's good to apply early i think in all prospects <laughs> even when you see for admissions say internships or part time jobs i think the yeah. key is to apply early and yeah to stand out and just interact with the professors or talk to the peers around you so that the networking is a key that's all Yeah. So it's always like you have to go on talk. Then you 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 try to understand like how friendly and how approachable and how many valuable inputs they are going to give you out. Yeah. That's true. It was great talking to you Sarvani today. I hope you have a nice day. Yeah, you too. Thank you so much. Yeah, and all the best for all the aspirants who are applying for UB. Thank you. Yeah. Bye bye.